What's up guys today's video is on the Callaway Big Bertha B21 irons review. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. In this Callaway Big Bertha B21 irons review, Joel Tadman assesses the looks and performance as well as how they compare with the Maverick Max Pros. Looks inviting to hit and gets the ball up easily on a strong, towering and draw bias trajectory. Consistent performance from a variety of strike locations. Cons. A fair amount of crossover with the less expensive Maverick Max iron. The Callaway Big Bertha B21 irons are the first Big Bertha irons to be designed using artificial intelligence. On the face of it, there appears to be a lot of crossover here with the Maverick Max iron, both of which are designed for high handicap players. If you like a chunky looking iron with a thick top edge and lots of offset, you're in luck with the Big Bertha B21. It's got a lighter, more satin finish than the Maverick Max iron and has a shallower face, which makes it look less lofted than it is. Other than that, the address profiles and shapes are very similar. We tested the 20 Nindig B217 iron on the Foresight Sports GC Quad Launch Monitor with titliced Pro Vonex balls against the 30 Dig Maverick Max 7 iron, as you might expect. The B21 did launch fractionally lower given the stronger loft and did produce a fraction more ball speed. Both irons produce similar spin around the 5. 200 revolutions per minute mark on a similar trajectory, resulting in average carries of 184 yards for the B21 and 185 yards with the Maverick Max. Ball flight-wise. Both seem to offer a similar amount of draw assistance and through the ground. The wide sole helped to prevent the club digging on those slightly heavy contacts. So it would appear the two irons offer very similar performance. Which begs the question as to what purpose the B21 iron is serving being added to the range. One difference we noticed was with the feel of these clubs. The B21 did feel a touch more solid and seemed to have a slightly quieter sound than the Maverick Max that was no less explosive. But the differences were fairly minor. Verdict. The Big Bertha B21 iron is ideal for high handicap golfers that struggle with launch and strike. There is a lot of technology to help get the ball up with more speed while the feel off the face is also pleasing on the senses. The Big Bertha B21 iron is ideal for high handicap golfers that struggle with launch and strike. There is a lot of technology to help get the ball up with more speed while the feel off the face is also pleasing on the senses.